Howdy, howdy, hey. How are you doing today? I'm the Moon Frog, and you're watching the Moon Frog Magazine YouTube channel. I didn't remember the moon being that far away. Alright, so in this one, if you guys watched the previous videos, you might remember we had to cut out this steering piece in the frame which went right up against the firewall, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, we need to move it. So what we're gonna do right now is pull out the engine and transmission again, and uh, we'll lay them aside for a bit. We'll get the steering all figured out and placed back in. And then we will lay the engine and transmission right back over top of it and figure out the motor mounts then. So for now, let's rip that engine and transmission back out of there. to air up those tires, push the car right back out there. Now let's get her out of the way. There she is. Now that we have a little bit more room to work with, um, let's recap on what we have to do. If you remember in the last video, or in the one before the last video, we had to cut this out because, because it was somewhere around there, which you can see is right where we had to go. So. Now we got some more modifications to make on this cross member steering rack holder clamp thingy majiggy that thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chop off these two brackets without messing them up. So I'm going to chop that up and uh Well, I think I'm gonna have to do something I didn't really want to do. It's gonna be time to chop the tie rods. All right. So we got we got our two sides disconnected. So now we just have to figure out 
how we're gonna clock it onto that cross member and make everything fit and make sure the shaft for the steering passes and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah. I think I might have figured it out, but we're gonna need to make one more hole right here first. There's more than one layer. Now let's see if our steering rack fits a little better. Well, I think we might have found our steering rack placement. I got it mainly where it should be, I think. But um, now the big concern. Is that steering shaft going to be in the way of the transmission collar going in? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. But to find that out, what we have to do is once again, take the engine and transmission, lift them up, put them in. Now, you guys seen that a couple times now, so I'm just going to do it and I'll get back to you guys once everything is in there. Or whenever we encounter our next problem. And now let's take a peek at how it looks underneath where the steering's gonna be. So as you can see, it is a little tight. But everything's gonna fit perfectly fine. Now let's check out the, the inside. This is where the only little snag but i'm already working on a solution so right here we have the transmission coming in so the one little problem here is if you look closer in there and my gopro is getting too cold to function so uh we'll take a little break warm up and come back to work all right we're back not too sure where we left off um i know the camera died because it was cold and i was too but now we're warmed up we have a fresh camera and we're ready to keep going so now we're gonna take the engine and transmission back out once again because now we know that everything fits for the steering and it's going to be time to start putting the steering in for good I'm going to pull that back out and I'll catch back up with you guys when it's time to start putting in some metal in there. All right, so we got the engine out once again and uh, now it's time to start putting stuff in place. So right here we have this bracket that doesn't move because it's a piece of cast aluminum. But this one, what we're going to do, we're just going to rotate it around until it hits. And at that angle, it's almost matching the other one, so it's going to look kind of nice anyways. And uh, we're just going to slap a couple tacks on this one. It's going to be our locator. And then we'll just find a way to box that one from the body to that at the same distance as that one. Make sure everything's straight. And then we're gonna have steering again, hopefully. So, let's keep working on this.
right, well that's gonna be good enough for testing purposes. Now let's get the rack back in place. Okay, all right, already done. Um, our steering is held in by something. And now it's time for a test. So, now what we have to look for here is if that shaft here is starting to do some weird things like trying to stop the rotation or trying to rip itself out so keep an eye on that god damn i guess we still had a bit of oil in there but it all seems to be spinning freely Oh yes, nice. There is a slight wobble and there's a very small binding in it, but I think it'll be fine for what we're planning to do with it. So uh, we'll get right back to work. All right, well I decided I was gonna box those in. So uh, let's get some cardboard and a Sharpie and we're gonna make some templates and cut all of the pieces out and make some boxes to connect the brackets to the body. All right, well here's the cardboard version of the boxes. And now that we have the templates, we're gonna make the metal. So let's get cutting on those. We were really on fire that time. Good thing I was done cutting this one. Now let's go see if they fit. All right. Well, I think it's time to tack them in. Let's go get the welder. Alright, so we have enough of it tacked in to be able to remove the steering rack again and then we're going to finish boxing all that and then we're going to weld some tie rods. So we got the rack out and uh, so I'm going to go grab my welding helmet and then we'll come finish welding all these boxes in and I'll show you guys the finished result. We're all done welding. Let's show you guys the final result.
if you ask me, kind of looks like it's from factory. Not really, but all right. Now it's time to put the steering rack back in and uh, weld those tie rods back on. Let's see if we can turn the wheels. All right, so we're gonna end it off here. We got steering. It's not as good as I want it to be, but it's gonna be good enough for moving it around and getting started. Uh, in future videos, we'll come back on it and make some adjustments to make it feel better. But for now, we're gonna leave it at that. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you watched the video up till this moment, leave it in the comments that you watched the full video. And if you enjoyed it, well, hit that thumbs up, help the channel grow, it's free. So, till next time, go out, be rad.